It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to Hofstra's 12th Presidential Conference on the George W. Bush Presidency. This has been a tremendously informative, exciting, engaging conference. As, as we move toward the ending of the third day, I, I really feel very energized by the discussions, the debates. We've seen a number of perspectives presented and many of the key issues in the presidency from economic policy to politics and leadership to foreign policy, interrogation, Iraq and Afghanistan political communication addressed in this conference. His presidency was so consequential and now we have a little bit of distance from it. And it's fascinating to go back and just in preparing for this conference, going back through the stories and remembering things and talking to other White House reporters and getting their impressions now that we have some distance from Bush. It's been a great exercise. And I think it's great to do this for every president. One of the things I'm always proudest about concerning conferences at Hofstra is that students play a central role. Students play a central role uh, in this conference as student guides. Uh, we match up people from the administration and also scholars with some of our very best students. Furthermore, all of our events are open to everyone. I'm always proud to say that at our conferences at Hofstra, and really at everything we do at Hofstra, students always come first. I've been looking forward to this conference since senior year, actually. When I came on campus, George W. Bush uh, was the president at the time, and I had supported him uh, before I got to college. I was a college Republican president and vice president during his last two years as uh, commander-in-chief. Uh, it wasn't always easy, and I just wanted to come back, you know, give my perspective. Well, all of this adds to what I did while I was at Hofstra, back in the debate, which was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I was in a media room uh, helping the McCain campaign, and it just added to the overall academic experience as well, because there were a lot of classes regarding this that I, uh, that I took, and it just culminated with this conference, actually. I arrived at Hofstra uh, four years ago as a freshman from New Jersey, very interested in politics. Uh, part of the reason I came to Hofstra was because of the 2008 presidential debate here, uh, held here on campus. My experience at Hofstra, especially through the Calico Center for the Study in the American Presidency, has been tremendous. I have been able to interact with policymakers, with scholars, and professors from all over the world on a range of topics um, that's really made me a better student, uh, I guess a better political scientist you could say, and, and a better person overall. Um, these experiences have shaped me and, and who I am and how I look at the world around me. Uh, I think that I have a very nuanced understanding of government and politics because of how much time I've spent with uh, Governor Howard Dean. Uh, Mr. Edward Rollins and other speakers that have come to Hofstra through the Calico Center and the relationships that we have with important politicos uh, from the, around the country. Yesterday I was just hanging out and talking to General Michael Hayden, former head of the CIA and NSA. Um, and saying that is, is unbelievable, but it's really become commonplace here at Hofstra where every year we have speakers, um, scholars, and government officials that come to this school and are able to have incredible, uh, robust conversations with students like it's just another friend.